So it's Friday, and guess who's sick? This girl. Oh, man. Yesterday, I... Well, the night before last, you know, when I went on my walk in my yellow highlighter shirt? I don't remember if I let you guys know, but I on my walk, I didn't really feel that great. I felt kind of gassy, crampy. Like, I just figured it was my hamburger or something. So, in the middle of the night... I kept having that pain, but it just felt like a little bit of, you know, colitis or some weird thing, you know, nothing major. And then um, I got up to use the bathroom and then came back to bed. And then in the morning I started feeling I had that same feeling. I had little bouts of diarrhea. TMI, but it is what it is. And then I kept feeling like I had to go number one all the time. And I've had bladder infections and UTIs before and and a kidney stone before. And none of this felt familiar. And I had to take my mom to the doctor yesterday and all morning long, well, I didn't work. I was just laying in bed because I just, my stomach didn't feel that great. And I just felt weak and tired. And I kept having to go number one and number two. <laughs> and then I was like on the freeway driving to get my mom. And the feeling of having to go number one was so strong. And it hurt. Like, oh my gosh, this is, this is a bladder infection. It's starting to get bad. And so, I, but I had to take my mom to the doctor because she had to get her eyes done and dilated and nobody else could take her and she couldn't drive herself. So, I just went to her house and I had half a pain pill left over from when I had my back pain. So, I took one of those and I got the pain under control and then we went to um, her doctor and then luckily her doctor appointment was only like an hour so it didn't take too long and I was able to take my mom right home so I went to the Instacare but by this time um, I wasn't feeling very um, sick but I don't know, it could have been because my pain pill was still working and stuff like that. So I get to the Instacare and I don't have any infection whatsoever. I don't have a UTI, I don't have a bladder infection, I don't have kidney infection or any kidney stone type things. I don't have anything. And he laid me down and was pushing on me and nothing, didn't feel bad. So basically what he thinks is I just have like a stomach bug and sometimes, you know, that the bowels can push on your bladder and, or whatever and make you feel like you have to go pee all the time, stuff like that. So um, by the time I got home last night, I got home around 6 and I felt decent. But I still had little bouts of number two, and I've been drinking my water and my Gatorade. And So this morning I got up really early because I had that bad stomach pain again. I was like, oh my gosh, here it comes. And now I have a total headache, and my I'm a little scratchy, and I noticed like my sinuses were kind of... I was drippy in back of my throat and stuff, so I'm I'm a, I have a cold or a flu bug or a tummy virus. So needless to say, I'm looking so beautiful today. <laughs> Why do I rhyme like that all the time? Oh my gosh. Um. So yeah, you're gonna have to bear with me today and look at this. Look at this mug. And that's that. Um, I'm not going anywhere today. I didn't work. My arm's getting tired. I should have used put my selfie stick on this here thing. But, um, I'm sweating like a pig. The air conditioner hasn't kicked on yet, so I'm going to go kick that on.
but I'm not going anywhere today. I need to go to my post office box to renew it. And plus I got emailed that I have a package. So I'm just going to have to go tomorrow. They are open on Saturdays. They're not open on Sundays. And then Monday I'm taking my mom to the doctor. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I mean, I probably could go today and do it, but I just don't feel that great. And I don't want to be driving or standing at the post office when nature hits. And I'll be like, so... That's that. I'm just going to lay in the house, take it easy. I have a headache, but I don't want to take anything. I don't know. I might take an Excedrin, but I don't know. Hi, Lola. Oh, and then speaking of sick, so I'm sleeping. It's gone. It was like 1 o'clock. I don't even know what time it is. And I hear, and I was like, oh my gosh, Momo barfing. But thank goodness, well, I got up and I looked in my room, nothing. I looked in the front room, nothing. I looked in the living room, nothing. So she didn't puke on any carpet. And I'm like, where did she go? And then I saw her sitting in my bathroom. I'm like, oh crap, she puked in my closet. So I look in the closet and she had no puke in the closet. And then I opened the door to the toilet. You know, we just have that little toilet closet. Bingo. She rocked right on the tile in front of the toilet. I was like, bless you, child. Bless you. Because it was on the tile and I didn't have to scrub and deal with carpet mess. Okay, I just, I just wanted to let you guys know that. I haven't eaten yet, but... Lola, stop! So I'm gonna have the rest of this apple and some caramel dip. I ate half of this last night, that's why it's ugly and old on the one side. Lola, stop! She wants to go out. We go out outside at night when it's cooler. And then I slice it into little slices like this. I'm also going to have a half a banana for now. And then here is the caramel dip. This is the fat-free stuff, and so it's extra runny. Oh, and it's so good. I mean, it's still thick, but it's a little thin. It's really sticky. It gets all over. And then I just take a teaspoon like this and put it in my little dip cup. Lola, stop it! She is crying her eyes out to go out. Okay, and there's my little caramel dip cup. And then I just set it right here on my little tray, my little paper plate. Later. Hi, Momo. So, anyway. Back to bed I go. But what else is new? I'm there whether I'm sick or not, right? Got you on the stealthy, the stealthy stick now. Hi! <laughs> so I've lost a piece of apple in there, and I can't get it out. It's too small and messy, so I'll just have to leave it in there. 
two slices here. lick my caramel don't you you're clear down by my feet Lola what are you doing this is mommy's caramel here I let last night I let her do this here lick my finger here she loves the caramel don't you yeah you love caramel is that yummy okay you're welcome I just love her. Howdy. It's been a few hours since I recorded anything. I felt pretty good the last few hours. Momo. <laughs> and, um, what are you doing? And I have made a couple necklaces. I'm just in a necklace craze. So these are just kind of clear beads. And these are the turquoise ones. These are the seed beads that I bought a few days ago. And then I got, I made this one. This one is just like the one I made myself and it broke. Oh, I was gonna show it to you. But so this time I used wire or it's not really wire, it's kind of like fishing line, but not see-through, I don't know. Um, so I made it out of this, and so like these seed beads are kind of the more opaque opalescent ones that I got from Michael's a month or so ago, probably a couple months ago, but I love them. <laughs> Momo! She loves them too, don't ya? And so, yeah, I've just been, and they're toggles, and I've just been crafting. And then I made another hot pad. I used up this yarn, finally it's all gone. So, and then I made myself one of those little slim bagel things. You know, they're super thin that I bought the other day. And now... I'm starting to get tired and kind of not feeling good again. Momo loves, this is what Momo does all the time. Like, if, if I'm working on something or trying to do something, she gets in my face like this and then starts giving me loves. <laughs> Don't ya! So, yeah. Now I'm just, it's after 6 o'clock, Daryl's at my parents' house mowing their lawn. It takes a couple hours to mow their lawn because it's a big yard and he has to edge and stuff like that. So he's not going to be home for another hour and a half maybe or maybe two hours, I don't know. So anyway, I think I'm going to lay down. I haven't laid down out all day all afternoon because I've just been sitting up making beads and I've been making these necklaces here in bed and I always drop some <laughs> so I'm like picking up beads out of my butt huh yeah so I'm just gonna lay down and well maybe I'll put a load of laundry away that I didn't put away yesterday Sorry this lame, this lame is so vlog. <laughs> this vlog is so lame, but what else is new, right? Right. So, I'll, 
I'll chit chat, chit chat, get back later. I can't even talk. I'm like, I'll chick back with you later, chit chat, whatever. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. So for dinner tonight, I'm having a lean cuisine. This is the Vermont white cheddar mac and cheese. This is so good and it does not taste like lean cu cuisine. It tastes like big fat cuisine, but it is really good. And I just put a little bit of pepper on it and some onion powder. So I'm excited to eat it. 250 calories, 14 grams of protein. So yeah. So that's what's for dinner on a Friday night. This is so good, you guys. It's so cheesy. Speaking of cheesy. Oh boy, what are those? Poor Lola, she's just sitting there waiting to go out. Like a little dog. <laughs> you like your spoonie? You like laying on your spoon? Welcome to the closet, everybody. Welcome to the closet. <laughs> it's glow stick time. Watch this. <laughs> that was not what it's supposed to look like. That was supposed to be a cool trick, not a dirty trick. <laughs> but anyway, it's late. It's 12 o'clock and Daryl's asleep on the couch. So I thought I'd come in here into the closet and be a little more subtle and quiet than how I usually do closet time. And I don't think I've achieved that, not yet. So anywho, I am going to bed. I just finished a, yet another hot pad. So I have done two hot pads and two necklaces today. Yeah! And there's always plenty more to be coming along. Um, I'm feeling much better. I still have a little bit of a headache, but no more cuckaria. No more having to go number one every 10 seconds. Oh, Lola, Momo, come here. Let's show our viewers what you want. Come here. Come here. Oh, 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 oh. Cat fight, cat fight, cat fight, cat fight. said none of that. <laughs> she's, she's just right behind me. Can you see? She's right there. Where are you? Oh, for heaven's sakes, I can't stick this light in the right spot. But I can't. She's already gone. I couldn't find her. <laughs> I need to practice with this here light. So anyway, I'm going to go to bed because I have to go console the cat. So 
tomorrow I feel I will feel much better and tomorrow we need to go to the post office box and pay for my new rent my new lease and then I need to go pick up a prescription and then I need to maybe buy some stuff for cabin time which is coming up soon I don't know but I can't think straight so I got to go Good. so we will see you in the morning y'all have a wonderful sleepy and peace 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 no how does peace go peace bye howdy ho howdy howdy